Uh, criminal tip. All federal officers and all police officers handcuffs have the same key and you can get it online and if you want you can wear those keys around your neck so if you're ever in handcuffs you might just have an opportunity to unlock yourself. I'm Ben Grant, Reno 911 and I wish to confess to the following crimes. Did I ever steal from the house? Probably I used to steal. My dad used to keep a little uh, change drawer with change in it. And for some reason as a kid, I thought he did not know he kept change there. And so I would take that change and I would buy gum. That probably is what started me on my road to crime. So I had a whole family of cops and I had two older brothers who were genuine juvenile delinquents. They could speed, they could shoplift, they used to steal gas and sell it. And by the time I was of age to take advantage of that, we moved to a different county where I didn't know any cops at all. I've never shoplifted, but once uh, I was in a comedy group called The State. The William Morris Agency invited us mistakenly to a party at the 21 Club. Very fancy, fancy, fancy place. As I was going out, I took a picture of a horse and I stuck it down my pants. I was stopped in two seconds by the Major D. And so I gave him the horse back and I left, but I wasn't arrested. Public fist fights. I've been involved in public fist fights only on the receiving end. Like Do fireworks count? I've set off fireworks inside. I've set off fireworks inside public buildings. I've set off fireworks in toilets at my school. Mild fraud. Uh, I would say that my entire life is an example of mild to medium fraud. Bad dogs on the subway? I was once with a group of seven people and every single one of them jumped the turnstile. I was in the middle and I got a ticket. Public nudity. Public nudity has been about 20% of my career. I either get hit in the nuts or I pretend I forgot my clothes somewhere. Public urination. Oh, uh, yeah, on the way here, yes. Uh, what can I do to get out of here? You want me to dish on somebody else? I'll dish on somebody else. You want me to stool pigeon? Give me the stool. I got the pigeon, buddy. Thomas Lennon, I know for a fact, used to frequent Illegal gambling halls. I was not with him, obviously. Uh, Carrie Kenny, I know for a fact, speeds everywhere she goes. She carries a case of Reno 911 hats. And I know for a fact that she's been pulled over and the cop rolled down her window and said, you're lucky I think you're funny. If Niecy Nash is guilty of anything, it's of being too fine. Nick Swartzen is a walking crime scene. And that's not a joke in any way. Yes, okay. Uh, sure, I'll confess one more thing. I am briefly in Reno 911 Hunt for QAnon. It's on Paramount Plus right now. Watch that. Let me go, please. <laughs>